All right, so we gotta go pick up Dougie. He's out at the camp. Now we got my three-wheeler going, or one of them. He wants to go pick up his three-wheeler. So we can go riding. We're gonna be lazy and use the trailer instead of using the ramps.
searching for cryptics and Sam Squinch that show up on film once you get home. I go, fuck. There's a goddamn skinwalker. Four skinwalker. And a big foot long. Fucking quiet out here today. That's why I thought maybe cryptics might be a boat. They're sneaky yellow cocksuckers. <laughs> What the fuck? Nothing else to do. What we got here? Diapers? Bags of poopies? Yeah. What the hell the fuck is that? And that? that that's a shitter. <laughs> Redneck shitter. Oh my gosh, I don't want to go any closer. They could be out here hiding in the bushes. I don't think I want to maneuver this hill back up and down. Fuck that kind. Oh well. I don't hear Jesse yet. There's a birdie. A crow. Buskis. Might as well go to the lake, eh, Jackson? Pearl rocks the party. Jackson, find us a fucking... Some kind of critter out here. What else is there? Man, bear, pig... Poor Hens was over there. Pearl. Berries. They all look fucked over. They have weird looking blackberries, I guess. I think them's is edible. Just a black raspberry. Tangy. Yellow cock road. Possibly the longest movie I've ever been in. Well, I'm not in it, but there I am. Oh. I can follow me. Nope. Hey, birdie. How you doing? Are you going to let me get close to you? Are you just a youngin? Hi. Hi. That's, oh, you heard or something. I'm going to follow him around. See if he'll talk. Did you piss off, birdie? There you are. Hi. Oh, he's escaping. I don't see any corpses. You look like you took a shit kicking, Birdie. Huh? You hit a tree flat out. Okay. I'll leave you to it. We'll look at the lake some more. What the heck? It's a lake. Slippery as snot, that stuff. It is quiet out here. Not a boat. Well, Turkey, what do you think? Let's head back. <laughs> Bye. So there's a brand new car showed up there. Chuck this.
flat tire. What in the hell? Look at the carnage. What happened, Dougie? <laughs> Deflation. Bolts miss flat tire, not bad. Where'd you go, jerk? Just flat and he over like that or what? Start? It would run for a second, and shut off. And oh yeah. Then when it did go running, I'd rev it and it almost die out. I get it going again, it almost die out. Uh, we stood this up in the back, didn't we? Yeah. It's so it's still, uh, I can't remember which way. I think like that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> it's a tender level here, though, anyways. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> He's fucked up. We're all loaded up. <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> Don't diddly. <laughs> Guy. He wants to rip around the gravel pit. Huh? He wants to rip around the he gravel pit. He did a bit of that, not with the bike. Just <laughs> me and him walked up there and looked around. So it was just flat like when you got you to it? Well, I didn't even fucking notice it was in all long grass until I got to the mud bug. And then I thought, it's fucking acting weird. <laughs> it's made, right here. Yeah. The grass is so long, right? Yeah. Shit. And there's all trees growing around it now. So like we're trying to kick it and there's all fucking trees and shit. It's steering all fucked up. Uh, all right, well, we'll get out of here, I guess, sir. Huh? We'll get out of here, I guess. All systems go.
All right, let's go fix Dougie's three wheeler. There'll be no sound there for a bit because it can't have music, unfortunately. But we got Dougie's three wheeler in the shop, as he calls it, the toad. We got the tire off it. That was a little fun. It, they can be seized in here pretty good, which his definitely was in the. Threads in rough shape. I think someone's crossed the threaded it when they put it in before. But uh, we got it off. I soaked it in penetrating oil a bit. I'm going around it with the air hammer. Uh, I've done this. You probably might see another video. I did this on my uh, the 185. I think it was one of the 185s. Anyways, Hi. there he is. There. <laughs> there she is. There. <laughs> All right. So it's gonna get loud.
build up some piss eye. A little bit of piss eye, eh, man? All right, so we pried and banged and air hammered and it's loose, but it doesn't pop off enough to break the bead. So we're gonna try driving it over with the truck. Well, it's down further than we got it, I think. Yeah. I don't want to go any more dig into my tire too yeah. much. Even though my tires are finished. Now if you just pull the vehicle on the other side and do the other side at the same time. I'm going to try prying now. While it's holding it that part down enough. Because it just needs to pop it down a bit more. Did that do anything? Looks like it's pulling away from the truck. Here, let me try to get a brace on. Nothing, eh? No. But it's down a good bit. Um, yeah, let me try the air hammer on it. barely holding up. 
<laughs> All right, time for a cheese break, I think, eh? And I think I figured out the um, the axle part of it. Like I think it is seized on there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Like this is all supposed to slide off with just the, this shaft through the middle, but I, I didn't notice before. There's two scar star screws, and then the drum can separate, and I can put those the two bolts back in there. Mm. But I got them soaking and penetrating all. Might have to take a torch to them, but I can get that off that way. <laughs> Jackson comes flying in. <laughs> he like came flying in, like leaned down, turned around real quick, you know. <laughs> We died it. Alright. Back working on the tire here. Um going to take a bit of a break. It was a real pain to get that free. And I'm not sure. I, I haven't really looked yet. I don't know if there's a tube in it or if this is it's still tubeless. Yeah, there's a tube in there. Alright, so we get to take that tube out, put a new tube in. See if we can get this back together and get it out and riding again. But that looks like it's on there pretty good. Fixed it. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't want to just come flying out. BVP motorcycle tubes. So these are 25 by 12.9. You might notice it's got a bit of wire showing here, but it'll be all right. It's got some cracks and stuff, but they really don't go that fast. Not like we're doing highway speeds or anything. In the tube, so it's not like it matters if there's a little hole or anything like here. The air is not going to get out there, so <clears throat> we don't really have to worry about that. So you can see down there, there's daylight through the hole for the valve stem shut through. So I'm going to do my best to line that up. I'm going to put this in. Okay. I'm going to put the oil on it. I don't want those wires to pop going the way in here. Alright, so I'm not sure if you can see it. 
right there is the hole that we need to stick it in. There we go. Lost me nut. Where's me nut? There's my nut. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be the best part. Put some air in it. Wait, maybe I should bend that rim out a bit first if I can. Let's give that a go. Try to make sure there's no wrinkles or anything. Don't want to kink and catch on anything and rip or tear or whatever. Starting to go on. I give it a little help here. A little bit of lube, maybe I'll spit on it a bit, I don't know. Come out there. Oh, it's like looking at Oh, it's slowly going on though. I think we'll be good. That spot's not good. That's good. Okay. Oh, I won't put much more air in it. Then you have to buy a new tire. There's really not much pressure in there. Maybe I could hold that in. Boom. Did it. That uh, definitely made me jump a bit. I'm sitting there squeezing it with my knees, having my legs around it. My legs gonna blow my balls off. You know what, in a good way. Yeah, I'm letting it out because you only want like, I don't know, three, four pounds in it. It's got a bit of a bald there, but still got way too much here. Too much piss eye in it. I 
He is gonna need new tires soon, but it's a good bit more life. I think his back tire is good. Maybe we could get with a match. Not too bad, no. It's still a little much here. That's pretty good. Alright. How so about the brake jump here? Sitting in PV Blaster and, uh, has two different studs on it that fall on inside the drum. And these star screws, I would imagine, are on there pretty damn good. So, yeah, I had them soaking. Now I'm going to put it in the vise and first I'm going to see if I can get it by hand just like that. And if not, put some heat on it, I guess. I didn't think that was gonna happen. So, move that there, put the torch on it. Maybe I'll move this. Double fisting. So this is usually a sure thing, but you never know, this is pretty old. Older than me anyways. Got an itch. Well, it's starting to smell like hot, so. Oh, I see smoke. Well, I think it might have a star I can put on a socket. Are you barely tall enough to look in this drawer? So the battery died. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing here real quick. Yeah, I think it died the perfect moment right when I got that first screw out. It's just the same thing for the other side, but uh so the reason I was taking it apart was these bolts the person had put in here had fallen inside and the wheel would turn, they would jam it up, and well I, I needed to get them out to put I couldn't just have two wheel wheel studs anyways. So I thought it had more of the original ones, but I don't. So I just what I did is I took some 3M double side tape, I wrapped it around a bit, and then folded it back over itself so that it can't the bolt can't fall out. It stays in there pretty good enough that I'll be able to get the nut on, tighten the wheel back up. Anyways, I'll continue on once I get back on there and charges a bit more. All right, the code's rolling once again. Let's see if she fires up. Get her out of here. The old man's ready to ride again. I'm not sure why this electric starts not working. I don't know if the battery's just dead or not. But I'm gonna plug it in outside and see. 